in this lecture we are going to learn about applications of derivatives okay so we have learned how to find derivatives and we know that okay derivative is slope of the tangent to the curve so but whatever we do what's the use okay what's the use of derivative that we find okay that is the question so what's the use and so you should answer that okay finding maxima and minima is one of the most important use of derivatives okay finding maxima and minima so now again the person will ask you what is maxima and minima again so by common sense you can say okay maxima something related to maximum minima something related to minimum and for a graph for a function fx so what does it mean okay so we draw some small graph okay and let's say from this point a to this point b now this is the function so what is maxima and minima here so one answer is that okay this is the maximum value in a b interval so this is maxima which is the minimum value so this is the minimum value this is the minima and that's great that's correct okay so this is maxima and minima so in a given interval which could be whole of the number line so you have to find the maxima and minima of the function okay now this is for the interval a and b this is max this is min okay but what happens if i have some point c okay and i ask you that okay in a to c this interval what is the maxima and minima so now this is out of this interval this max now the max becomes this okay so this is max dash and min remains in this interval so this is the maximum in interval ac and min is here okay so that's we see that okay what is the definition of maxima and minima so how does derivative help here okay that's the next question so how does derivative help us in finding the maxima and minima does it at all so if i ask you that okay draw the what is derivative so it's the slope of the tangent so if i ask you that okay draw the tangent to the curves at all the maxima points and minima points so you will say that okay i have read derivatives i can draw a tangent to the curve you draw a tangent that's great okay you draw a tangent here that's also absolutely correct you draw a tangent here this is also fine now i ask you that okay what's the relation what's common between all these tangents is it is there any common property among these tangents yes you are correct so that is that all these lines blue lines the tangent lines so all the tangents at these points are parallel to x axis isn't it so that is a very valid observation so all these points that all these points even at maximum value points and at minimum value points the tangent is parallel to the x axis so what does it mean about f dash x at these points so f dash x is zero isn't it because it's parallel to x axis so that's great now the thing is but you can say that okay that is great that you showed us that f dash x is zero for all the maxima and minima points but 
still there are few very valid questions okay and what are the first thing if f dash f dash x is 0 at some point let's say c so f dash c is 0 so I don't know if it is the maxima and minima so this is the first question okay if f dash c is equal to 0 is it maxima or minima okay this is one very valid question f dash c is 0 c is 0 for minima also and maxima so I cannot differentiate is there a way out and again the maxima even f dash c is equal to 0 at this point and this point and for different intervals this max are different so a lot of things still remains to be answered okay and that's what we will go and see okay so we will try to answer a few questions what is the relation between derivative and fx maxima and minima isn't it so this is one thing we need to find out okay so how will you do it let's try to see it for a very small graph okay so here this value at this point f dash c is 0 isn't it so at this c so f dash c is 0 now is it maxima or minima how to find out so one thing if you see is let's try to draw some more tangential points at closer points so this is one tangent okay so and one more closer tangent is this one and so we see that okay the tangent was initially some positive value at this point so it is this theta it goes here so theta dash so this value was higher this is going to be smaller and as we go very nearer to the point we see that the theta is decreasing so theta dash dash when it comes so theta is greater than theta dash is greater than theta dash dash okay so this means as we app we are approaching point c so f dash x is what is happening is decreasing okay so we should make it bold so it is decreasing isn't it so f dash x is decreasing it becomes zero at c and then what happens then it starts like this so it goes like this here so this is theta dash 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 now it is this is alpha this is beta so what is happening now so again now for these the value of theta is greater than 90 degrees so they are all negative which means f dash x is now what is it happening it is negative okay so f dash x is negative here f dash x as all these theta till here it was all positive so it was theta was here between 0 and pi by 2 okay so here hence f dash x was greater than 0 then it started decreasing this function and f dash x became less than 0 and at point c f dash c is equal to 0 so this is something we observe by drawing some tangents to the curve 
near point C okay so what happens is if f dash x if the derivative is less than 0 for c minus h and f dash x the derivative is so this okay so this is greater than 0 so f dash x was greater than 0 for some c minus h so on the left hand side and f dash x here now becomes what so f dash x now it becomes less than 0 here okay so at this point we see so now f c attains its maximum value why because here what was happening it is increasing if f dash x is greater than 0 what it means the slope of the tangent line the angle is between 0 to pi by 2 and hence tan of that angle is positive so f dash x was greater than 0 when this function was increasing now when this function started decreasing so the slope of the tangents now because the angles were greater than pi by 2 so the slopes were now less than 0 which means f dash x was less than 0 on the right that is for point c plus h in the nearby vicinity hence if this is the case then fc attains its maximum value at point c fx attains the maximum value okay because on this side when f dash x is greater than 0 then the function is increasing increasing so here we see it increased then when f dash x started to decrease so fx started to decrease we saw that f dash x was less than 0 okay and in between what happens at some point f dash x becomes 0 so that point C where f dash C is equal to 0 is the maxima. So now we will again to imbibe this thing very important thing we will look at another example okay. So let us see. So which color should I use. So this is the minimum point okay and now we will see what is happening to the slopes of the tangent in the nearby point to c this is f of x we know this is the minima here what happens in these intervals okay so let us see in this interval c plus h c minus h so we see that at this point we are known that okay this is 0 okay the slope of the tangent is 0 let's see at these points okay or let's see for easier at these points so at this point the angle is between 0 to pi by 2 if we go a little further it is still becoming this is alpha this is beta so alpha is greater than beta isn't it and it is greater than 0 but it is less than pi by 2 okay so what happens now let's see on this side with some other color okay so what happens here at let's say this point so this is the value this angle let's say it's gamma so gamma is of course greater than pi by 2 and it is pi is greater than gamma and it is greater than pi by 2 some point nearer so what happens it is something like phi so phi is in fact angle wise it is larger than gamma also but we see for all these values so f dash x the slope will be negative so less than 0 the slope is less than 0 for 
so f dash x is less than 0 for x belonging to c minus h to c okay f dash x is equal to 0 if x is equal to c and f dash x is greater than 0 for x belonging to c to c plus h so this is very important observation okay and this tells that of a lot of things so first thing is of course that to find the minima so f dash x at that point should be 0 on the left so f dash x should be less than 0 so it should be decreasing on the left hand side so that it touches the bottom and then it should be increasing f dash x should be greater than 0 which means the rate of change is positive so the function is increasing so this means it's the minima 